I'm doing my bloody best. All right. For consistency's sake, I'm going to throw this up there because, you know, I'm having an off week. So this is this is my topic for today. Do you change? Do people change? This is, you know, I know people do change. I've made changes in my life, I will say that. It just seems very... It's hard. Changing is very hard. But I will say it's kind of a domino effect. The best way to change is to do something small to prove to yourself you can initiate change, no matter how big or how small. I would like to say that there are some out there, and I wish it were me, that can just do the big, big changes and become a whole new person all in one day, night, month, year, but typically that's not, not the way it goes. I think I've been, done my most progressive change in the last three, three years because, you know, something big and detrimental happened in my life and, you know, that sparks quite a bit in someone. I've been working out more consistently, taking vitamins, supplements, tinctures, all that good stuff, but this week it's just been an off week. Still working on that, quitting the nicotine. Sometimes it pops back in. I'm not buying it, but you know, weekends I tend to find myself bumming. I wish. I wish, I wish on a shooting star. Wishing don't go get you nowhere. Action, doing, and sticking to your word gets you somewhere. So even if it's simply changing one routine in your life, starting with the morning, drinking a glass of water, as soon as you wake up to flush all the toxins that may have been sitting in there throughout the night, very good for your body. Let that be your first domino. If you're up for suggestions. Anyways, I hope you all are doing good. I smell. I smell. I'm going to drink my protein drink, and then I'm going to take a shot of apple cider vinegar. Trying. I'm trying. And you know, that's all we can do. And sometimes we will have off days. We will have off weeks. Maybe we'll have off months. But ultimately, as soon as you start initiating some change for the better, for you to be proud of yourself. Doing, just doing it, means you've already done it that much more than you have in the past. And it will continue to consistently grow in time of you doing that, you know, whatever that goal you set out to do. And you will begin to see that change in yourself. And sometimes it will take years. It will take years. Have patience with yourself. I'm learning to have patience with myself. I don't know if that's a lesson we ever stop learning. Do what you can. Take care of you. Because without you taking care of yourself, you can't pour from an empty cup. I like to have a little rule. <sighs> Do I always follow it? No, but more often nowadays than not, is if it's not done, and filled in my own life, I cannot offer to do that for somebody else. Such as my car. Let's say that. I detail. I clean cars. I like to do it, but it's not something I like to do if my car isn't detailed and clean. If my house isn't clean, I'm not going to go clean somebody else's house. If my dog hasn't had a bath in a while, I'm not going to go give a bath to someone else's dog. You understand what I'm saying? We need to understand the fine line between selfishness and self-care. And that can be easily blurred depending on how we're raised. When you were called a brat or spoiled for things that were out of your control and you were just a child that didn't know how to express yourself. 
sometimes you feel guilty when you're an adult doing anything for yourself. I hope this is the generation and the turning point of evolution of the world for us to realize we need to take care of ourselves and we need to heal from past things and recognize and be conscious and aware of where our subconscious is trying to relive what we lived in our past and to tell our subconscious no wait that wasn't a good enough slap that was a little better no stop it we're not rerunning re this I've already watched this movie, I already, I already played this episode, I learned what I could learn from it, I'm done. Anyways, happy Wednesday, we made it halfway. May the rest of the week go well for you. Try to take 15 minutes in the beginning of your day to sit down and try to prioritize what's important of what you want to get done that day without overwhelming yourself. The I choose to do list, not I have to do list. It's for you, baby. No one else. Whew. Surprise! This is where I'm at so far on the accordion. Uh, this is maybe week three and I have only practiced a handful of times, but, but, this is where we're at. All right, all right, this is pretty cool, you guys, this is pretty cool.